Um, we had recently had a house fire. And so we were already struggling with insurance. So we'd already been out of our house for almost a year living in a camper with five people, which was very trying. It was very difficult. Um, so we were already kind of used to being out of place. And so we had rented a house in Lynn Haven so that we could, we finally got the insurance sorted out and we were able to work on the house. And then we found out the storm was coming and that was not very fun. My mom's really stubborn, so she's like, you know, it's fine. We'll ride it out. We'll stay in town. So we had my grandparents come. So there was eight of us in a really tiny house. And I just remember sitting there, like, in the living room. And my papa, we had all the windows boarded up. And he was outside watching the storm. And uh, he had came back inside. And then a huge tree came in our front yard and went across and knocked over the power line right in front of our house and I just remember looking up and all the light fixtures had water coming through um, the house was flooding we were probably about ankle deep in water and um, it was really scary because my mama was not in good health and she had a breathing machine with her so I was kind of like really worried about her the whole time not so much myself um, and I just remember like my dad being really calming because he's a police officer, so he's used to stressful situations. And after the storm was over, um, I just remember it feeling like a movie because we walk out and it's so, it's like purple. The sky's purple and it's really peaceful, but it's also very worrying because it's like you're used to so much busyness and sound that when there's none, you're like, okay, well, something's wrong. And we walk out and the whole block to the left of our house is covered in trees on the road, so we were kind of trapped. And then we looked to the right, and a huge tree had fallen over, and so we were stuck. And we ended up having to go, we ended up having to take down uh, somebody's pole barn, or like a little trailer thing, so that we could drive through their yard. Um, but I just remember being really scared because my dad had to leave like right after the storm. And um, he was already getting radio calls that they were finding people not alive. Um, and so we were stuck at the house for probably about, I'd say, four hours until my uncle and my papa could make it into Lynn Haven to come get us because the cars were not usable. We couldn't get out. And we got into the, the truck and drove. I think we went one of the back highways, which would usually be about a 20-minute trip, ended up being almost four hours in traffic. And we came up here and stayed with my uncle in Southport for about almost a month with my nana and papa, my cousin and her fiance and his two kids, our family of five and my uncle, all in one area. We had our campers and his yard and stuff. It was, that was also very stressful. Um, and I would just say that like, it was definitely a trying experience, but um, I think just being able to go out into the community and see like the different houses and how bad other people had it made me a little more grateful <laughs> excuse me made me a little more grateful um that I had a family there to kind of support me and unlike other people who didn't have anybody or the my dad was saying you know Savannah you just have to be grateful because there's older people that had their houses destroyed and they have no family and so it really put things into perspective for me and my sisters definitely and how would you say that your life is different now than it was before the storm? Um, that's kind of hard because we've always been kind of not in a house, per se, because we've had a lot of issues with insurance and stuff. So I wouldn't say it was that drastic of a change living situation-wise, but getting resources and, like, we had to go take showers or baths in the lake down the street from me, that was... That was definitely um, a new experience. Um, but I would just say it does make me more thankful for what I have. I recently went on a mission trip to Honduras. And so seeing their houses there and they had nothing and they were still so thankful for what they had, it kind of made me think that we're blessed in America with what we have already. Even the people in poverty have it better than the richest people in Honduras. So. 
being able to go on that mission trip kind of helps me realize that I have everything that I need. I have family. We have enough money for food and water and supplies. So I would say just the biggest change is just being more grateful for the little things in life.